Hey guys, this is Charlie from Skate Pro here, uh, and today I'm going to be talking about buying skis for the experienced skiers. So I'm going to talk you through all the different types of skis that we have on offer and a few specifics about them. I'm also going to give some advice on how to find the right ski length, and we're also going to talk a few other specifics which are going to help you decide what type of ski you want to get. So as an experienced skier, your options are wide open in terms of the type of ski you're going to talk about. Here we have a piste ski, so this is designed to be used on piste all the time. The design of it is quite narrow and this means it's really good for gripping the hard, firm snow. And you find piste skis that come in all levels from beginner all the way to expert. The next ski we have here is the all mountain ski. This is one of our most popular ski categories that we have. The design is generally a little bit wider than the piece skis, so this means it's also going to perform really well on piste, but it can handle some off-piste conditions and some bumpier, softer snow. Next up is the park ski, or the twin tip ski. So one of the main characteristics of this is that we have the twin tips which come up at either end. And this allows the skier to ski backwards, or if they're approaching jumps in a backwards way, or they want to land backwards. In park skiing it involves doing jumps, performing tricks, or doing some grinds and reels and boxes. Now we're into the free ride ski. So you notice this is one of the most widest skis in the wide ski category. Um, this is because they're designed for off piste so where there's a lot of fresh, deeper snow, this wider ski is going to stay on top of it and that'd be much better at flotation. Now here we have a backcountry ski. So these skis are used for off-piste adventures. They're generally quite lightweight in design and that's because when the skier is going out they're also walking up the hill and skiing down the side with these so they need to be super light. Keep in mind that all these types of skis come in different versions according to your ski ability. So that's just something to remember when you're looking for them. When it comes to ski length, this can change based on the type of skiing that you're doing, your ability level and your height. If you were to take me for an example, if I was an intermediate skier and I wanted a piece or an all mountain ski, I would want it to fall around the height of my nose. If I was to look at a twin tip ski, this would be around the height of my forehead, it would be nice. And if I was to look at a free ride ski, I would want this to be around the height of me. So a couple of other factors which can influence your ski length is your weight and your skiing style. So with weight, if you're considerably lighter than the average person for your height, you can think about choosing a shorter ski or a ski size down. If you're considerably heavier than the average person for your height, then you consider choosing a slightly longer ski. Skiing style is another one which can help you make the decision. Generally, at the two ends of the scale, we have a cautious skier that likes to go nice and slow and stay in control. They can choose the, long, the shorter skis. If we have a more aggressive skier that's skiing fast all the time, they can choose the slightly longer skis. Now that you've decided what type of ski you want to do, I'm going to talk about a few other features which can help you decide on which exact one you want to get. Starting with the, with the waist width. So the waist width is where the ski gets the narrowest in the middle part of the ski. So it's the distance from edge to edge here. And the details can be found generally somewhere on the ski, like here. So this ski is 68 millimeters at the waist. Something around that height is generally good for skiing on piece because it's going to provide maximum grip on the hard snow. At the other end of the scale, we've got a free ride ski here. This is where the waist width is. And so we know with this head core, this is 105 millimeters from edge to edge. So that's going to be at the much wider end of the scale. It's going to be better for floating on the powder and staying on top. Next, we're going to talk about turn radius. So the turn radius is how a ski naturally turns by itself when it's put on edge. Every ski has a turn radius and it can generally be found in the details here. So this ski, for example, is a, is a 13 meter turn radius. Skis that have short turn radiuses are generally 17 meters or under. So these are great for skiers that like to make short, quick turns. Then we have medium turn radiuses between 17 meters and 22 meters. 
These are for skiers that like a mixture of both short, medium and long turns. And then we have the long turn radius, which is 22 meters or above. These are great for skiers that like making long swooping turns and going fast. Now let's talk about rocker and camber. So these are words that are used to describe how the ski can curve up and down when viewed from the side. So starting with rocker, if we look at this ski here, we can see this ski has rocker at the tip of the ski and it also has a smaller rocker at the tail of the ski. So rocker is something in skis which help them stay floating in powder snow. They also make turning, going into turns and coming out of turns nice and easy. And they're also really good at absorbing the bumpier terrain that they're skiing on. Now if we look at a ski, look at a ski that has some more of a camber. So a camber, if we look at it from here, is the bend in the ski that goes like this. So a ski that has camber is specifically designed to be ridden on piece mainly because it's really good at gripping the snow and giving you much more edge grip. As well as camber and rocker, there's lots of other variations of this. So for free ride skis, they can traditionally have some tip and tail rocker. They can also have full rocker. All mountain skis can have camber with tip rocker and park skis can have twin tips. So to summarize this video, remember to choose the correct ski type for the skiing that you want to do. Choose the appropriate length. And if you're looking for more specific advice to help you make the decision, you can look at turn radius, you can look at camber and rocker, and you can look at the waist width. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it useful. If you want to see any more guides, you can click on the link below. You can also visit skatepro.com if you want to see all the skis that we have available. If you have any specific questions or want some personal advice, feel free to always contact our customer connection team.